Hi everyone. I just wanted to take a second and to show you something really cool that I figured out recently in regards to YouTube. And it's something that I was trying to figure out but was struggling to find on Google at least using the search terms that I had come up with. So if you watch long form content on YouTube, a lot of times you'll notice that these creators have a table of contents under their video. In this case, this is Vitalik Buterin talking to Lex Fridman about Ethereum and cryptocurrencies and such. And I think it's really useful, especially, you know, imagine you're watching a tutorial. You might already know part of the process and you want to skip just to a particular component of it. Like if you're watching my build a top-down 2D RPG in Godot video, you might know the majority of it, but you just want to learn about tile maps. And so I could have a section down here that says tile maps or a section that says collision. And that makes it really valuable for, I feel like, the audience. And when I'm watching long form content, I'm always really happy when I see this table of contents, but I was always kind of wondering how this table of contents gets implemented because you don't actually see it in your creator studio. There's no option to add a table of contents. So I was looking at some of these videos recently and I clicked show more on the description box. What I realized is there's an outline down here. And now I don't think the word outline really matters, but I noticed that the timestamps here correlate with the timestamps in this table of contents that's rendered inside of the video player. Um, customizing video players is actually really fascinating. Uh, you need some deep JavaScript and that should actually be a tutorial too because not a lot of people know how to do that. Anyways, I just noticed that these timestamps down here happen to line up with the timestamps in the video and it turns out all you need to do is literally type the times followed by one line of text uh, you know the the time at which the line of text is relevant and after a while it doesn't seem to happen right away but after a couple days YouTube seems to parse it and convert it into chapters and you can also view all of the chapters down here and if you view them down here they also come with a thumbnail now in the case of a podcast I don't think the thumbnail is that valuable but maybe in the case of some other type of tutorial like maybe a tutorial on building a couch you could see down here you'd be like oh you know this is when they start assembling the legs of the couch so yeah all you have to do and I replicated this in my top-down 2d RPG tutorial you can see right here installing Godot creating a new project yeah you creating the movement controller collisions etc um, yeah all I had to do to do this was find where I transition from one topic to another, put a line of text to the right of it inside of my description, and voila! Now I have a table of contents. So I think they should really make that more clear. There's no indication that that's available for you in your Creator Studio. There's no button that allows you to add a table of contents. And in fact, using this preview player right here, it's almost impossible to add because it's so key. small. So and effectively, I think it has a maximum resolution yeah, it does. I think it renders at like 360p. So if you had something really detailed, you couldn't even tell what you're doing in here. So I just ended up opening up two tabs and I watched through the video in this tab. And as there was a transition between topics, I added the transition to the table of contents right here. And like I said, I saved it. After a couple of days, this showed up. And now we have a table of contents. So that's the cool thing that I learned that I felt like I should share with the world. So hopefully you guys, if you create YouTube videos, can start making use of this functionality more often because it's super helpful as a viewer. Thanks for watching and hope this was useful.